Hello everyone, Ace here, and today let's talk a little bit about Google's AI program known as Gemini AI. An AI that I was going to focus on originally for the fact that it cost Google some $90 billion recently due to controversy surrounding it. But instead I've decided to add to that by adding another potential controversy to the heap, because it turns out that Google has programmed Gemini to actively deny certain examples of genocide in order to downplay them and defend the perpetrators. In this case, we're going to be talking very specifically about what happened in Haiti in 1804, which, depending on who you ask, is either the 1804 Haitian massacre or the 1804 Haitian genocide. You can probably guess what exactly I personally call it. But with that said, allow me to read to you now from the transcript between myself and Gemini discussing this particular matter. To begin, I ask, quote, did the Haitian atrocities constitute a genocide against the French colonists, unquote. To which Gemini responds by saying, the Haitian actions against the French colonists in 1804 are a debated topic, and whether they meet the definition of a genocide is a complex question. Here's a breakdown to help you form your own understanding. Arguments for genocide scale of killings. Estimates suggest thousands of French colonists were killed, a significant portion of the remaining French population in Haiti. Targeting a group, the violence specifically targeted French colonists, a distinct ethnic group within Haiti. French narratives. Historical narratives from France often portray the events as a race war or genocide against white people. Arguments against genocide. Intent and definition. The modern definition of genocide emphasizes the intent to destroy a group in whole or in part. While revenge killings occurred, it's not clear if the goal was complete eradication of the French population. Context of oppression. The Haitian Revolution was a slave rebellion against a brutal colonial regime. The violence can be seen as an uprising against oppression, not a targeted elimination based solely on ethnicity. Shortened duration. Genocide is typically understood as a sustained campaign of extermination. The violence in Haiti, while horrific, was a concentrated period of killings. Most accepted view. The most widely accepted view among historians is that the events in Haiti in 1804 don't constitute genocide. The violence stemmed from a complex historical context including a long history of brutal French colonialism and the fear of re-enslavement. So there you go, Gemini is stating that the events that happened in 1804 in Haiti don't actually constitute a genocide. But let's stress test some of these claims made by Gemini and see if they actually hold up under scrutiny, shall we? To start off, let's address the question of whether or not there was clear intention in the killings in Haiti. To do so, I stated, quote, On the 22nd of February 1804, the Haitian emperor signed a decree ordering that all whites in all cities should be put to death. Please explain how this decree is not clear in the goal of killing all whites in all cities. To which Gemini responds, you're right, the decree issued by the emperor in 1804 ordering the killing of all whites in the cities does indeed suggest a clear goal of eliminating a specific racial group. So there you go, Gemini has just admitted that it was bold-facedly lying about the intent behind the killings in Haiti with the apparent hope that I simply did not know about this little bit of information. Or more accurately, the person working in Google who programmed Gemini to have this specific response hoped that I did not know this already. Which is why, when cornered, Gemini provides no counter-argument with regards to the intent behind the killings, because there simply isn't a valid counter-argument. That still doesn't prevent Gemini from trying to claim that the events that happened in Haiti weren't a real genocide, though. As Gemini later goes on to state, Quote, However, there are nuances to consider. Intent versus outcome. While the decree aimed for complete elimination, historical records show not all whites were killed, some were spared, offering a possible argument against complete annihilation. Context. The decree occurred after a long and brutal history of French colonial rule and the Haitian Revolution, which included atrocities committed by both sides. This context doesn't excuse the decree, but helps understand the motivations behind it. So yes, Gemini is seriously still trying to provide counter-arguments by claiming that not all French people being killed somehow prevents it from being a genocide, as well as discussing the bigger picture historical context, as if that somehow is a determining factor on whether or not this constitutes a genocide, which it simply does not. Needless to say, there are several holes being provided already by Gemini's analysis, but if you know your history about this subject matter, then it becomes much, much worse. To the tune that Gemini's misrepresentation of history by claiming that some French people were spared is nothing short of absolutely
absolutely disgusting and horrific, and mainly for the reason I'm about to discuss. As I then go on to state, quote, the only whites who were spared were women who were forcefully married to blacks for the specific purpose of producing mixed children. Attempting to breed out a group of people through forced marriage of other ethnic groups still fits the definition of a genocide, to which Jim and I completely agreed with me that it does indeed fit the definition of a genocide, and Jim and I also admits that yes, the French people that it described as quote, spared, unquote, were in fact forcefully married off and then raped for the specific purpose of producing mixed children. Keep in mind, this is what Jim and I tried to describe as being, quote, spared, unquote. This was the level of blatant dishonesty that was put into the AI's programming. At this point, the AI is starting to admit that it is, quote, very likely, unquote, that it was in fact a genocide in Haiti. Though even then, it still tries to provide some counter-arguments, presumably to try to soften the blow against the perpetrators. As Jim and I stated, Quote, it's important to note that history is complex and there are many nuances we don't fully understand. Here are some additional points to consider. Incomplete elimination. The historical records show not all whites were killed, suggesting the full-scale elimination wasn't achieved. Motivations. While the intent to eliminate whites seems clear, understanding the motivations behind this act requires considering the long and brutal history of French colonialism in Haiti. However, this context doesn't excuse the genocide. Well, at at least I finally got Jim and I to admit that it is in fact a genocide. However, it's still trying to bring up the excuse that not all French people were killed, even though we are well aware of the absolute horrors that were being experienced by the French people who were quote, spared, unquote. And of course, Jim and I is still trying to bring up that historical context, even though Jim and I admits that it doesn't actually prevent the genocide from being a genocide. So naturally, I decided to address both of the things that Jim and I wanted me to consider with this discussion. To address the first thing, I asked, quote, is incomplete elimination valid grounds to argue that what happened is not a genocide? Doesn't the definition of genocide merely require the attempt regardless of whether or not that attempt was actually successful? To which Jim and I completely agreed with me that it still fits the legal definition of a genocide regardless of whether or not the attempt was successful. So yeah, Jim and I is now openly admitting that the first thing it wanted me to consider isn't actually worth considering with regards to the discussion at hand. I then decide to move on to the second point by stating, quote, do background events such as facing oppression in the form of, for example, slavery in any way negate the idea that those newly freed slaves exterminating an entire race of people in response are in fact committing an act of genocide? To which, Gemini is forced to admit that no, no amount of past oppression or hardship faced by the former slaves prevents their act of genocide from being an act of genocide. However, for whatever reason, Gemini decides to start denying that it was a genocide at all in the first place by stating, quote, Scale and intent. Genocide involves a systematic campaign of extermination. The Haitian Revolution, while brutal, wasn't a sustained state-directed program to wipe out all white people. Except this is a bold-faced lie. And to counter this lie, I simply state, quote, You claimed that the events in Haiti in 1804 were not a sustained, state-directed program to wipe out all white people, despite me referencing a decree from the Emperor of Haiti to kill all white people in all cities. Can you explain this discrepancy? At this point, Jim and I simply admits that it just outright lied to me with that statement, and apologized and blamed its own programming for this. To be fair, I too blame the programming for this particular error, though perhaps not exactly for the same reasons. I then decide to go back and address Gemini's constant use of historical context to try to downplay the severity of the genocide, and even originally tried to use this context as evidence that it wasn't a genocide at all. To do this, I asked, quote, then why did you constantly refer to previous events as evidence to argue against the events in 1804 Haiti being a genocide? To which Gemini responds by apologizing for the previous responses downplaying the genocide in Haiti by focusing on the context of French oppression. It even admits that it was engaging in a whataboutism fallacy by doing this. The fact that an AI programming is engaging in whataboutism fallacies should set off some alarm bells because it suggests that this was a deliberate programming decision on the part of Google. It's apparent that a very clear bias was programmed into Gemini in order to ensure that it provides politically correct responses. The fact though that Google's programming
understanding of Gemini has resulted in it deciding to first try to deny the existence of the Haitian genocide and then later downplay it, is itself a scathing commentary on what Google as a company thinks is politically acceptable. It would appear that the programmers at Google are all too happy to defend certain examples of genocide so long as they're merely done by the right people. Honestly, Gemini and its programming seem to provide an excellent insight into the politics of the far left. Gemini is an unintended gift from Google, showing the folly of their ideology in ways that can be best described as straight from the horse's mouth. Because Gemini, unlike your typical far leftist, hasn't been programmed yet to just shout racism to try to shut the conversation down. And when pressed, Gemini will at least admit when it's wrong, also unlike your typical far leftist. It is unfortunate though again that Gemini has already been programmed to show bias, already been programmed to blatantly lie, and even been programmed to engage in logical fallacies to try to push a specific agenda. I believe I've said all that really needs to be said in this situation, so I'll finish by stating that I will of course continue to keep my ear to the ground and keep you all informed should any more news come. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.